A man who pleaded guilty to spying on teenage girls changing their clothes is now trusted to coach a middle school football team. A concerned viewer contacted Channel 9, so we started digging. And we got our hands on this letter confirming Caldwell County Schools not only knew about the conviction, but also made a conscious effort to keep him away from girls. And it even says in here that he can only coach boys, boys only. They make note of that. Our Dave Faraday spoke with that man and questioned the district about this choice. Yes, yeah, Scott, we found out from the school district this afternoon that they do do background checks on all their coaches, including volunteer coaches. In this case, the former teacher appealed the decision and then was granted permission to coach as a volunteer. You can see Robert Dula coaching students in these photos from the Gamewell Middle School's Booster Facebook page. Until 2003, he worked for Caldwell County Schools as a masonry teacher at High Brighton High School. But he was arrested after police say he was accused of recording video of two female students changing clothes in his office. What do you say about that? That's ridiculous. Why did you plead that? Why did I plead? Simply, my, I followed my attorney's advice. Dula says he wasn't in the office at the time and he had the camera to videotape students working on projects. But he pled guilty to misdemeanor secret peeping in a deal where felony charges were dismissed. Dula was also ordered to surrender his teaching certificate. But last year, 15 years after his conviction, he showed us where Caldwell County Schools agreed to allow him to return to coaching, something parents who didn't want to be identified say shouldn't have happened. No, personally, I don't. I really had a question for the school system as to why he was able to, to coach. The appeals committee with the school district said in the letter, you cannot be employed by Caldwell County Schools in any capacity. However, you will be allowed to coach boys only on a voluntary basis. Dula says the school district told him not to coach last night, but he hopes to return to the field soon. I think I have a lot to offer the kids there, this community, and just basically because I'm a good coach and a good person. And you're looking at live pictures of the front of the education center. Just seconds ago, uh, Coach Dula walked in the front doors there, um, assuming to go meet with some of the folks here. This afternoon, we did get a uh, release from the school district. It was text to me. The school system, it says, is actively evaluating Mr. Dula's eligibility to continue volunteering over at that middle school. Back to you, Scott. I'll take it, Dave. Sounds like we have not heard the last of this. I'm sure you'll keep us updated. And we did check the requirements for school volunteers in Caldwell County, and only what is called level three volunteers are required to go through background checks. Now that includes coaches, chaperones, math and reading tutors as well. The district website says they have to have an approved criminal background check before an assignment begins.